G'day and welcome to Jojo Moto. Just a quick little fun how-to video here on how to do a chin mount on your helmet. Now I selected uh, this helmet specifically because it has a little area here to mount the GoPro uh, mounting point on. So you can see here, that's going to fit there pretty well without interfering with the vent. There are some helmets that the vents come all the way down. I specifically chose this one to, because I knew it was going to have enough rooms. When I went to buy this helmet, I actually brought this with me and went around and tested it on the helmets to see which one was going to work the best. Obviously, I tried it on to see if it fit well, um, if it was going to be a decent helmet, but that probably was my main priority to make sure that the GoPro mount was going to fit there. So what we'll do now is we'll get into uh, putting the mount on there. It's not as simple as just sticking it on because of how curved the surface is. So we're going to go through and show you exactly how to do the mount for the GoPro. Right, so here I'm showing you how. There is actually a fair bit of gap um, and not a lot of contact point for the mount itself. There's a fair bit of gap at the side and the bottom at the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim it so that we've got just the double sided tape through the center of the mount here. So we've got plenty of room either side for a special adhesive that we're going to use. So you can see I've got the double sided tape just to strip through the middle there ready to go. What I might do is I might rough up that edge, that edge and possibly even the helmet a little bit where the uh, contact glue is going to go to make sure it gets a really good strong hold on, um, on all of the parts. So let's crack into that. As with any time gluing or sticking things down, it's really important to get a perfectly clean surface. Today we're using the wax and grease remover. You want to use some sort of uh, I don't know, some sort of cleaning stuff, acetone or thinners or turks or whatever, I don't know. But I know wax and grease remover is the perfect stuff for this sort of thing. So I'm going to clean the helmet surface everywhere that it's going to touch. And I'm also going to be obviously cleaning the parts here where the contact glue is going to go. It's going to be nice and easy to use this mount uh, for the initial sticking point on where I want to place it. Because it's got that adhesive strip still there, the double sided tape, I can place it on there, get it exactly where I want it, and then I can use the... Um, the glue to, to fill up the edges. Perfect placement is crucial. You don't want it, you know, wonky to the side or in the wrong spot or whatever. Okay, so just with the double sided tape there, um, yeah, I mean, that alone is so, so tight on there. But I just want to add that little bit of extra to make sure that when I'm Clipping and unclipping, I don't have to think about it and worry about it. I know that it's rock solid in there. The product that we're using for adhesion is uh, Sikaflex Pro. Now, I use Sikaflex on a lot of different things, you know, mounting body kits onto cars, um, all, all sorts of different things, and it sticks really, really well. It's super messy, but I know that this stuff is rock solid. Uh, it, you know, it's, it really does bond things super duper well. I am sure that there are other things out there that you could use. Uh, I know that I can remove this if I want to and clean it up and actually get it so that it looks like there was never a GoPro mount there on the helmet. So that's sort of another reason as well. Um, but I really recommend Sikaflex uh, as, a, as an adhesive product. So basically it comes down to just filling up a little bit of area here and a little bit of area in there. It is really messy stuff, I keep saying that warning, but I don't want to be getting Sikaflex all over this helmet everywhere. So I'm just going to do a nice little bead in there, a nice little bead in there get it nice and squished in there um, and that's it. I don't want to be getting it all around and everywhere like I did my other Moto helmet. So let's get into that. And it's as simple as that. You can see a clean, neat little bead there uh, that just sort of fills in that gap. And the same on the other side, just a clean, neat little bead. That's all it really needs to be. So now with that sitting there nicely, all cleaned up and uh, all glued on, I'm just gonna leave that without touching it now for at least sort of 24 hours, let that sit and cure. So then we'll come back and have a look at how the GoPro front helmet mount fits on there and so you've got a really perfect angle. We are well and truly past the 24 hour mark now and uh, the, the, it's just dried rock solid, it's, it's awesome. It's got a little bit of flex because it's a sicker flex. Um, which is great for you know putting on and off. You're not you just you're not going to snap it off or whatever. 
So it's really cool. Uh, on there nice and solid, ready to go to put our GoPro on. So putting our GoPro on, we're going to be using the GoPro's helmet front mount. It's just got a few little adapters there to make it so that the uh, GoPro can actually sit far enough forward. Because most of the time uh, when you have a GoPro mount sitting on the front of the helmet, the mount itself is facing way too far that way. And you need to actually get the GoPro, instead of being that, it needs to come around and be in line with the lens of the helmet. That's really important. So there is the GoPro helmet front mount. Uh, and you can see it's got three, three points of adjustment here so that you can actually adjust how tall up it goes, how far forward, and how far it does reach back and um, come in line with the angle of the front of the helmet. You'll obviously want to play with your settings, um, maybe set up your Wi-Fi on your camera to see the angles and check it out really carefully. Go for a test ride, uh, make sure that it's sitting in the right spot where you want it to. Well, that's it for our GoPro chin mount. It's been a whole lot of fun. Nice, quick, simple, easy job. I hope this has helped out a few people with mounting your GoPro. Let me know in the comments below where you prefer to mount your GoPro. Maybe you've got a different helmet, maybe you can't mount it on the chin. Let me know in the comments below how you have yours mounted on your helmet, because I'd love to know. So thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you on the next video.